Hey, hey, y'all, it's your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what to do. Put me on pause. Go get your favorite drink. Go get your favorite snack. Get in your comfy spot. Because I'm going to take my time today. Because we're going to talk about distractions. That's what we're going to talk about today. Before I get into that, though, I got to say thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you thank you thank you for clicking that subscribe button and trusting your girl to be able to um, give you this information that i give you on this channel thank you so much and thank you to all my day ones y'all know who y'all are y'all been riding with me from the beginning from two followers to over 500 now that's a big deal that's a big deal so i just want to say thank you y'all real quick check in your girl been going through your girl has been going through. But when you're going through, you got to remember that there's life on the other side of going through. So I'm going through a little bit, but I believe in God. And I can't come on here and tell y'all to keep pushing and keep moving if I ain't doing the same. So I'm doing the same. So I made sure I sat down and did this video for you today. All right, y'all, let's go. The topic dealing with distractions have you set intentions and resolutions and things like that and now we like almost the end of january and um where's the progress or where's the start date or we started and we fell off we ain't got no boundaries in place we ain't got nothing we ain't got nothing together like we thought we was going to have it together. So we'll talk about, you get distracted. It happens to all of us. It is a part of life. It is a part of human nature for us to go towards the bright, shiny object instead of looking ahead. You know what I mean? That's like the same way people ride down the street, ride down on 695. I'm in the Baltimore metro area. So 695, 95, whatever your interstate is in your uh, local town or city. You know, and somebody gets in an accident on the side of the road and the traffic is backed up for miles, but it's like, but it's like they're on the side of the road. We can still go fast. We can still go forward, right? It's the same thing with us. It's the same thing that we do internally. So we're going to talk about dealing with distractions today. So in order to talk about dealing with it and how to get back refocused, you have to know what a distraction is. A distraction is anything that takes you away from your intended or original task, your goal, your focus, your resolution, um, your, your, your mantra, your declaration for yourself, your all your newness, all your new 22 new you stuff, right? And having a purpose is having a task. So it can take you, it can derail you off of your purpose in life and what God created you to do and what God created you to be. So let's talk. I have four things. I have four things that is going to help you with the dealing with distractions. First thing, we have to recognize and identify what the distractions are. Or could be in your life. Y'all ready for these distractions? <laughs> Y'all ready? Work. Work can be a distraction. Work can be a distraction to keep you from focusing on, oh, I, I got to work. Oh, I can't do this because I got to work. You know, I, I'm doing this. I, I got to work. Work can be a distraction. Toxic relationships. I'm going to say it again. Toxic relationships can be a distraction. Are they depleting you? Are they not allowing you to be your best? You don't have no energy. Say you say you want to lose weight this year. You don't have no energy to go to the gym or work out in your home and cook you and prepare your meals because this toxic relationship is draining you. Okay. Um, Perfect new partner. You met somebody who seems like they are a dream. Are they? Time will tell that story, okay? Time will tell that story. But sometimes, sometimes, the replica comes before the real thing. Sometimes, that's what happens to see how you're going to handle it. To see how you're going to handle it. Because all of a sudden, the perfect, what is it, the perfect guy? I used to watch that movie on repeat. Why? I like, because I like Lifetime movies, so... 
comment down below if you would like Tom Girl like me. So, you know, hey, look, listen. The perfect guy turned out to be the nightmare. So sometimes you got to give stuff time. I always talk to y'all about time. Um, imbalance. An imbalance that you create in your life. You have issues with work-life balance. You have issues with balancing your emotions. You have issues with balancing and setting boundaries with people. It could be food. It could be a food addiction. It could be um, something like that. All of a sudden, y'all know, look, I have been a serial dieter. If you have not watched my body image video, go back and watch that um, if you have issues with body in image and body dysmorphia. But let me tell you something. I'm a sir I was a serial diet dieter. I'm not anymore. Praise God for deliverance. But I was a serial dieter, right? And then all of a sudden I noticed whenever I said I made the declaration and said out my mouth, Oh, I'm not eating this, I'm not eating that. All of a sudden, all that stuff starts feeling good to me. All that stuff I want to eat. All that stuff I wanna, you know, or somebody bring donuts to work. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. It could be food, it could be people. We talked about that. Could be people, it could be habits. And it could be opportunities, right? Now, not all distractions are bad. Sometimes we're distracted from getting to our destination because if we left a minute later, um, it may, if we left a minute earlier, we could have been in a car accident. So some rejection is God's protection. I, I've talked about that kind of throughout my channel. But just so you know that that can be a part of it. All opportunities, they may look good, but are they good? Are they good? Okay? So you need to recognize with these and identify with these, what the potential distractions are. Second thing, follow your gut. Assess the new thing in your life and pray before you move. If you know that food is it, if you continue to have that, that compulsion, food compulsion and addiction, you may want to seek help. Don't go at things alone. If you have, if you've suffered from PTSD or some forms of anxiety, sometimes you can get ahead or sometimes your mind can go back and take you to places that are toxic for you that actually immobilize you, right? You don't move. You don't move forward. Okay. But when it comes like new partners and stuff, like pray before you move, pray before you move. What is it that you need to do to be able to combat this distraction? Number three, assess your behavior or reaction to this new thing in your life and ask yourself, is it taking me off task? Is it taken away from me being living on a purposeful life? We're going to have a video on that later on, um, coming up soon, but is it taking you from hat from living a purposeful, purposeful life? Is it taking you away from your intended goal? What is that distraction doing? Right? How does it make you feel when you're derailed? I want you to think about that. Last but not least, once we have combed through and dissected what those distractions are, how they affect you, how they make you feel, um, I need you to refocus. Number four, my last point, last but not least, refocus. Do what you need to do to refocus. If you need to start journaling to get out those thoughts. You know, I'm an Advent writer. I love to write. I've been keeping a journal, uh, which I used to call a diary when I was a little girl. I was writing in a diary from like elementary school. Um, so, and I actually keep all my journals. So I think that it's very, very, very important to make sure that you're getting that stuff out. Refocus yourself, write down those commitments to yourself, write down your intentions for the week and take it day by day because we're going to be distracted in life. It's going to be so many things that are going to keep us from getting to our goal, but sometimes you just got to stop recognize it, get your mind right, get your mind in that right posture, refocus and move forward. That's all I got y'all. <laughs> That's all your girl got. Just wanted to come by, stop by, say hi. We working on dealing with these distractions so we can reach our goals. We can be everything. We can be the best version of ourselves. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. Follow me on Instagram at dshayl. I'll list it down below for encouraging ways to kind of deal with distractions this week. I try to talk about stuff and whatever else feels good to my soul because y'all know how that's how you girl do. All right, y'all. Um, That's it. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Um, uh, Remember, ain't nobody better than you. Is that a distraction? Your mindset? Come on. 
Ain't nobody better than you and you deserve the best out of life. And that brings me into my spiel. I hope this message has inspired you. I hope this message finds you blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.